Hi guys, this is Sony Tube. Today we're gonna be talking about um, a very interesting chef from Katsuro Kitchen. Uh, we love this show. We've been watching it like for so long, like almost all seasons. And but not for its cooking. Yes. But for people that mm -hmm. you can witness, because every single episode there are like four new people, four new yes. chefs. Yes. And since uh, we study and use Osonics. We we study people all the time. That's yeah. why we're watching Castro Kitchen. Yeah, there are so many. So uh, recently we stumbled upon one interesting guy. Individual. <laughs> and he got very unique strategy of, of uh, playing winning and winning. Yeah. So uh, his name is Jean Paul. I'm Chef Jean Foll from Nice in France. Do I believe I'm the best chef in Quattro Kitchen? Yes. But just the way he said, yes. And he was like looking in the camera that you can definitely like believe that yes, he thinks that he's the best. Yes, like look. Because sometimes people are just, well, yes, yes. And or not yes. looking in the camera, he's just like straight like. Well, <laughs> and there is like a uh, long pause before he said. Ah. So, like, you know, the wow, yeah. manipulating of the mm, attention, pauses, uh, intonations, and uh, like emotional uh, component of the speech. Uh, it's in Sosonics what we call extroverted ethics. Mm -hmm. So, Mm -hmm. That's that's interesting. Wow, wow, wow. Just look at this example. All berries on the side is always a smile on the plate. Berry makes smile anybody. He don't like to smile at my berries. <sighs> <laughs> so he put uh, berries and he said that this is just for a smile. So it's not like uh, necessarily for eating because it's not really uh, combines very well this dish. Mm -hmm. And this is an interesting aspect, like again, mm -hmm. emotion for smile. So he wants not just with taste uh, impress, yeah. you know, the judge and uh, whoever you eat in the dish, but uh, yeah. he bring in uh, extra ethics here again. Yeah, so he wants uh, the person who's eating his dish to smile. So he's doing something to you know, to get the positive emotion that he wants to see from a person. Mm -hmm. And which is very beneficial, of course, if it's a judge. And so let's see what his strategy was. Come on, buddy. I'm a poor damn chef with nothing in my basket. Are you really going to punish me again? I'm not worried about you. My plan work. I like it. Chef's <laughs> my god he is playing with this intonation all the time i just noticed that that like rewatching, he is like so i don't you, know you notice know, even more right? even more yes yes exactly so because we watch so many chefs uh, yeah they usually just people talk straight mm -hmm. they just talk the they just what they're gonna what, do what yeah. happened what they do what happened with the com components and just, you know, all pure extra logic. What happened? What did they do? What did they put in? What I forgot? Etc. Etc. So he played dumb, like he said. He and played. By the way, he played, mm -hmm. which is also like, it's like a mask that you are putting on your face and playing someone else. Pretending to be Pretending someone else. Pretending to be someone else. Yeah, and mm -hmm. uh, this way he... Uh, got the easiest sabotage. And, yeah, so by the way, uh, I was just uh, still thinking about this. So he like putting a mask on his face and it is extroverted ethics. Why? Because by pretending someone else, he wants to see specific reaction and like an image of himself. Like he want to project it on other people. He wants people to see him in this specific way. And he's playing someone who will, you know, cause this reaction and this uh, thoughts about him. Yeah. And uh, his strategy was to <laughs> uh, basically play dumb. Mm -hmm. 
mm-hmm. and uh, this way he uh, didn't receive uh, harder sabotages, mm-hmm. uh, not without you know paying or spending any money because mm-hmm. like this competition uh, to basically have advantages you need to spend money yeah but you don't want to do that so he mm-hmm. he's avoided spending money and uh, yeah. by just uh, pre- pretending not to be a threat oh yeah that's that's a good one and and he moved forward mm-hmm. and uh, so then i just up now to sabotage chef ulfet because i can Sorry, too bad. Sorry, too bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. And after playing this role for like uh, ha- yeah, half of the competition... He didn't expect that from him at all. He, uh, when he... At first he was nice to her. Mm-hmm. And he, he, yeah, needed, so he needed her yeah. assistance. I mean, he was dependent on her, and in that case, he was like playing, like nice, and that he is on her side. But when he done everything, yeah. like cooked everything He's that like he wanted, he's like playing all the time with no remorse <laughs> at all. <laughs> like you're yeah. putting different fa- different masks on your face, and you're like sort of becoming different types of pe- person, types of person, and. Uh, uh, people expect something from you. Certain they, behavior. Yeah, they you. expect, and then you are like changing your behavior on your advantage, and especially in the competition, it's like very. Yeah. <laughs> and when she wants to like reach her stove, uh, and in this sabotage, he, she cannot do it without his help, and he's saying, "Sorry, too bad." <laughs> Yeah. So he just. So did he really care how she feels at that moment? No, it's uh, he was. It's definitely easy for him to be cold-minded. Oh yes. Which again point out per, points out person with uh, extroverted ethics and values. And no introverted ethics and values. Yeah. No remorse. Because people with introverted ethics, like we've seen it many times in this show, oh, yeah. uh, in values, um, because they value people's uh, relationships and connection and mm-hmm. trying to be nice, even though it's cutthroat kitchen, but yeah. the, you cannot just get out uh, this out of person easily. <laughs> so sometimes, yes. despite all the games, they, uh, they're trying to help someone or... yeah. <laughs> And then they got fined for for, the, for their own disadvantage. And then Alton find them. Yeah, there were even cases. <laughs> there should not be introverted ethics in this show because <laughs> Catherine Kitchen, I will find you <laughs> for <Yeah>. being nice. <laughs> okay, let's see uh, one more fragment. Now is the moment of jubilation. Is in my hand. You're next. No fear. I'm good to crush you. <laughs> it's interesting. This guy is like laughing at him. He don't see him as a threat at all. He didn't see, but then uh, he said, "Like uh, he lied to me. He lied all these rounds." And uh, he didn't know that uh, this uh, uh, chef Jean Paul was a pastry chef. He didn't, yeah, he didn't well, expect him to bid like ten thousand dollars right away or something, and he was he that I think that he just wanted you know to 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 beat him unexpectedly with you know these high bids and yeah last round final round and it was pastry round and suddenly he says like oops I forgot to tell you I'm that, a pastry chef sorry he said not just pastry he said like. I'm expert, oh, must or, or something like that. Uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, you can see what was his on, on his mind. Like, like he, he's gonna crush you. So this crush is very... It's, yeah. it's interesting how he can plan everything ahead. And what's other interesting thing that like in uh, first two rounds where all other contestants, they were spending their money. 
uh, to buy sabotages. He didn't spend anything because he was. Oh yeah. He had a plan from mm-hmm. the beginning. And, and he he said it like multiple times during the rounds, like. I wanted to be it, I wanted to be it, like there was like a bad sabotage, but I didn't be it because I'm sticking to my plan, I'm sticking to my strategy, which is very rational behavior. Yeah, and he got to the final round with most money and this gave him advantage. And then he spent them very stupidly. <laughs> well, like, I think... Literally, he beat like 15,000 well, almost two thirds of his money well, on one sabotage. You, you could argue that uh, since he doesn't have inverted ethics and values, he doesn't have exerted logic, which is about money, so uh, he's not valuing money that much overall. Mm-hmm. I think that's where it could came from. But he got what he wanted, I think, I think that yeah. he came he for the, the win. He, he wanted the title. Mm-hmm. And uh, these people can be, you know, very unexpected and unexpected uh, serious threat. competitors unexpected threat not just unpredictable you know so unpredictable he's just an predictable threat in terms of you know through the sensing not just yeah because i, I, I th- surprise you like having high logic in psychosophy he can uh mm-hmm. like uh be cold minded think mm-hmm. everything like plan everything ahead mm-hmm. uh being rational and uh, mm-hmm. uh like execute his strategy uh, like as he wanted and uh, don't uh uh be influenced by any other you know people's feelings or oh yeah you know who, who cares like, about feelings come on. <laughs> he doesn't and yeah. he uh, achieving his goal so that's why he, mm-hmm. uh, this kind of competitors that they can be very uh, you know a big threat and uh, underestimated by others so mm-hmm. it was very interesting to watch it mm-hmm. yeah I agree so we have like a candidate from the second quadra potentially potentially but there is not quite enough information to say for mm-hmm. sure, but ethical intuitive extrovert would be one of our options, but mm-hmm. we're not gonna say for sure. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah, it would be very see. interesting to interview him. What do you think? Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so. Thank you very much for watching, guys. See you next videos. If you want to watch more, click the video on the left or on the right. And to subscribe, Click the circular channel icon. Thank you for watching.